at, you know, take a look at how um, uh, Susan Boyle, in eight days, went from being obscure to being on Oprah. That's what it defines a now media moment. If you want to look at how uh, Facebook and CNN did an amazing job during the inauguration, that was a staged but very, very, very effective now media moment. If you want to take a look at how some sixth grader gets discovered on YouTube, ends up on the Ellen Show, and ends up with a recording contract, that's an ex accelerated now media moment. And each of these cases, what we're seeing is a fusion uh, of a catalyst of sorts, where the real-time web has an effect. And what the fusion we're looking at is the, mix the mixing of old media and new media. I have uh, been very bullish about the power of new media. I have failed every time I've made a big bet that new media would replace old media. So I now stand back and I say, hmm, it's not going to replace the two. And frankly, if you ever work in new media and never work in old media, work in old media. Because you have power, you have subscribers, you have people who listen to you, who write to you, who engage with you. It's pretty cool to be behind that iron curtain. And when you mix these two platforms, the metaphors of old media and new media, and fuse the two together, what you end up with is now media. And that's the key. If you could actually take something and leverage the best of one world with the best of the other world in a way that's empowering, <coughs> you can do amazing things. In the case of Susan Boyle, it was the producers of Britain's Got Talent that had the idea, okay, let's put this really touching video on YouTube. And, you know, frankly, I cried every time I saw it. And, you know, I'm sure people did. You just felt it. I mean, how could you not feel that? And so you watch this video, and then you tweet about it, or you just react to it. And I just remember, I was one of the first 65,000 people, at least that was what YouTube was saying. I'm sure the millions had seen it by then. But then the fact that a million people had seen it after a day, that became newsworthy. So the old media reports on it. That starts to educate other folks on the internet. This is cool. For eight days, Susan Boyle was the number one, two, or three trending topic. Eight days. At the end of the eighth day, um, she ends up on the Oprah, on Oprah show, uh, being interviewed. She doesn't understand why either. And, uh, but then she was very you know, overwhelmed by it. And then you know, she ends up with hundreds of millions, but let's say 100 million YouTube views. And that was an amazing moment in time because it was the people's reaction to the content and the fact that the media, news media was reporting on YouTube views that helped propel this woman to uh, amazing fame and perhaps fortune. And, it didn't matter whether or not she ever were to win another contest again. It was the fact that she did that. And that's a now media moment. And 